All right, everyone, want to do a video now um, showing off the newest tool in my kit to self-treat my facial underdevelopment and help develop proper myofunctional habits to help grow my face to its full genetic potential to augment my MSE treatment. Uh, because at the end of the day, no matter what appliance you use, it really is the facial habits, the myofunctional training uh, that is important to help sustain any progress that you make with an appliance. So today I want to show off this water bottle. Uh, it is the Camelback Eddy Plus water bottle. And what's special about this is that it's got a straw. So for the longest time I'd seen people with water bottles that had straws and I, I always thought to myself, man that is the goofiest thing I've ever seen. Why the hell would anyone want a water bottle with a straw. Um, it's just weird. They get dirty easier. It's kind of like you imagine like a little kid would have something like that. It's kind of silly, right? But um, I really think that if you have a water bottle with a straw such as this one and you drink out of it several times per day, it can really help teach you a proper swallow. Because as we know, the swallow is one of the hardest parts of myofunctional training. So Anytime you drink out of the bottle, you say to yourself, am I doing this properly? Am I suctioning the liquid out of this straw properly? Uh, because it's actually not as easy as you would think, especially for something with a big nozzle like this. It's not like a straw that you would put in a soda can, right? It's, it's bigger and you've got to clasp it with your teeth to open it up. Um, so it actually takes quite a bit of uh, oral muscular coordination to suction out of this water bottle properly and it's a fantastic uh, exercise to do multiple times per day every time you need to drink so just to demonstrate right so here's what I here's how I do it I just say okay you know time to be mindful of the way that I'm suctioning water out of this straw so And as ridiculous as this sounds, and you are going to think this is ridiculous, but this motion is not unlike probably suctioning like a nipple if you were a baby being breastfed. And for those of us with craniofacial dystrophy, right, with underdeveloped facial structure, a lot of times the root environmental cause of that is the fact that as infants we were not breastfed, so we never developed... Uh, the, 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 the habits that emerge naturally from, from suckling a, your mother's nipple as an infant. There's all sorts of uh, 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 neural connections that occur and muscle memories that form just when a baby breastfeeds. So for those of us who were never breastfed, we never really learned how to properly use the muscles in a coordinated fashion to suction fluid out of a device like this or like a breast. So my thinking is that as adults, it pr is probably a good idea for us to figure that out because maybe in that motion is some special um, muscle sequence or stimulation to the maxilla, to the palate, to the various structures of the face that contributes positively to um, rebuilding the cranium in a healthy way so as to ease craniofacial dystrophy symptoms and um, structural outcomes. So yeah, check it out. Um, the Camelback Eddy Plus, I'll put a link in the description below and you'll probably think I'm a little bit crazy for this but honestly this stuff is all about lifestyle change and it's all about incorporating exercises and training methods that can easily be fit into your already daily routine. And uh, my water bottle is, you know, I've always got it with me. It's always in my backpack. And this just adds a whole level of mindfulness and attention that I'm bringing to my swallowing practice, which is a critical part of any myofunctional um, training regimen. Uh, so if you have any questions about this, let me know. 
Um, probably the, the biggest thing that I didn't really address in this in this video is how to swallow properly. But I would say uh, as long as you are intent on learning to swallow properly, even though if you might not know exactly how that's done, if you just continue to practice and you continue to ask yourself, is this the proper way? Eventually, you will find something that feels right and which doesn't result in a, a tongue thrust, which means your tongue jutting out of between your front teeth. And um, even without knowing exactly how it's done, you will inch your way toward a better swallow. All right, uh, that's it for now. And let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. More videos coming soon. Peace out.